Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Reporter's Notebook. I have not been behind the camera, the digital room camera, in a while, so I am excited to be back. And today, I have Miss Emily, who is joining me virtually. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. It's, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. It's been, it's been a while. I was on vacation, and now I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm back. So, um, back ready to work. I've done a, fun, a few fun stories. Um, I've been on the beach a lot lately for the stories. So yeah, it's fun. What have you been up to, Emily? What's going on? What's been going on in Casa de em Emily? Yes. So I unfortunately have been in quarantine over the past, um, you know, 10 plus days. Um, I'm coming out of quarantine this week. Woo! Um, so I'm excited to, you know, get to see people from the office and everything. But of course, I have been working during quarantine. So I've been working from home, trying to put together as many stories as I can. So it's been a tricky, you know, past uh, week, 10 days, but we're almost there. So <laughs> yes. And so even though you have been in quarantine, like you said, you've been working from home. And yeah. one of the things that uh, you did recently is something that we both worked on, something that we have been working on for the past oh, a number of weeks. Do you know what, what episode this will be for our, our podcast, Call It With Politics? Mm -hmm. We are on episode 35. 35. Wow. Okay, so Emily, what did we talk about today? Sure. So today was a little different than, you know, if you've tuned into what the politics before, today was a little different. We did not have a special guest, but instead me and Victoria kind of dove into a recent poll that was done by the John Locke Foundation. It was a Civitas poll. And we kind of dove into that. Oh, my God. oh wow. Emily's cat is making. You know, she, she loves the, the spotlight. She always tries to get in on my <laughs> video calls. Um, but yeah, so we, we kind of were analyzing this poll that was done, a Civitas poll by the John Locke Foundation, where they surveyed, you know, around 600, um, they surveyed 600 North Carolina voters and uh, kind of were asking, you know, what are the top policy issues that are important to you right now? What's kind of on the forefront of your mind? Um, so that was really interesting to kind of break those down a little bit, kind of discuss, you know, where we think those are stemming from. Um, and, you know, possibly why this is so important to North Carolina voters right now. Right. And I'm not going to go through all of the public policy issues that were at the top of people's mind, but the, I will go over the number one public policy issue at the top of people's mind. Um, jobs and the economy, which we both found yeah. fascinating because we were trying to put into context what exactly, why that would be number one. Because in the state of North Carolina and from what we've been, we've been doing a few reports about how there's a number of jobs available in, in especially here in Greenville and across the east and if you go if you just drive down any street and you see a McDonald's or you see uh, I can't think of another a speedway or some sheets you know something like that there's everywhere I go there's something that says now hiring you know inquire yeah. within or even even at Bojangles I think they're doing open at a Bojangles they're doing uh, open interviews so in our podcast we try to dive deeper into why that might be an issue um, and then, of course, we're always looking at, at uh, a few of the uh, legislative uh, bills going on in the, in the General Assembly. We didn't get into that in, in, this particular, um, in this particular podcast, but Emily and I just chatted basically about the public policy issues. Emily, was there another public policy issue that kind of caught your attention? I was honestly really surprised that I, not at the oh not at the top of the list but actually towards the bottom of the list I was kind of surprised to see law and order as well as gun control kind of sort of towards the very very bottom of the list I believe they were like the last in the last three mm -hmm. and that kind of surprised me just because you know they've been such a topic of conversation over the past couple months over the past year so I was a little surprised to see those lower down on the list but you know the ones up at, up at kind of near the top i i understand where that concern is coming from i think right exactly and of course if you want to hear more about the public policy issues that are um, of top concern among north carolina voters you can listen to our podcast episode at wntt.com and then you click the features tab we're also available on um, apple and spotify but before we wrap up this episode of Reporters Notebook, Emily, okay, it's <laughs> hurricane season is right around the corner, okay, oh, June 1st, <laughs> a week from today. 
I have oh. never, I don't have anything prepared for hurricane season. And yeah. I bet you some of our viewers do not have stuff prepared for hurricane season for uh, an emergency kit. What is yes. one thing, you don't have to say everything in your emergency kit, but okay. since I am starting to create my emergency kit, what is one thing that you think should be the first thing that I should go out and buy right now after after we do our reporter's notebook? Right, definitely a good, good flashlight. If you can find an LED one, even better, but definitely a good, strong, high-powered flashlight that, you know, will last you a long time. Okay, so I got flashlight. And there was someone, when I was doing the Duke Energy story, the Duke Energy um, spokesperson, he was like, this is something that I tell all reporters to get. And so it'll help us as reporters, but it might also help anyone who's out there preparing their own hurricane preparedness kit. He said to get those um, uh, safety glasses, safety goggles. Okay. When oh, you're, that's smart. Right. So that when we're out reporting and the wind's coming in our face and all the all the rain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's. You know, that's not something I would normally would have thought to put in my emergency kit, but I'm going to get it now. That's smart. Exactly. Yeah. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, hopefully that'll help anyone else out there who it, it'll help us reporters, but I mean, that might be a good idea for just the, the average viewer who's, who's wanting to put together their hurricane preparedness kit ahead of, ahead of hurricane season. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Reporter's Notebook. Be sure to listen to our latest episode of What the Politics at WNCT.com and the online, oh, I almost said online originals tab because Emily and I are both digital reporters. You can check out our stories in the online originals tab, but you can also check out our podcast in the features tab under the WNCT Podcast Network. There's some, we have another uh, podcast going in there called Morning Brew. That one's a lot of fun, a little bit more lifestyle in that kind of segment, but um, it's with our morning crew, some people who are, uh, who work the morning shift, basically the overnight shift for our morning show, um, put together a little podcast. It's very interesting. I love listening to it. It's very fun to, to listen to in the morning. So it's the best, great podcast to listen to, you know, in the car, on your way to work, just kind of get your morning started a little bit. Exactly. And the person who produces it, the main person who produces it is Kelly Hunter. She's actually our editor. So you never see her on TV, but she has such an amazing personality. So this is yes. a great way to listen to, to get to know some of the people who work behind the scenes at the station. Kelly, you don't see her on TV, but her personality wakes me up in the morning. So listen to it. Um, and of course, you can always tune into Reporter's Notebook and all of, all of our other stories at WNCT.com. All right, Emily, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, everyone, for listening and watching. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week. All right, bye, everyone.